Hello again. I hope everyone is well. Welcome to Thursday's Reflection. We are still with Paul talking to the Thessalonians and it's chapter 3 of the first Thessalonians letter. So when we could stand it no longer, we thought it best to be left by ourselves in Athens. We sent Timothy, who is our brother and co-worker in God's service in spreading the gospel of Christ, to strengthen and encourage you in your faith, so that no one would be unsettled by these trials. For you know quite well that we're destined for them. In fact, when we were with you, we kept telling you that we would be persecuted, and it turned out that way, as you well know. For this reason, when I could stand it no longer, I was sent to find out about your faith. I was afraid that in some way the tempter had tempted you and that our labours might be in vain. But Timothy has just now come to us from you and has brought good news about your faith and love. He has told us that you always have pleasant memories of us and that you long to see us just as we also long to see you. Therefore, brothers and sisters, in all our distress and persecution, we were encouraged about you because of your faith. For now we really live since you are standing firm in the Lord. How can we thank God in, enough for you in return for all the joy we have in the presence of our God because of you. Night and day we pray most earnestly that we may see you again and supply what is lacking in your faith. Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus Christ clear the way for us to come to you. May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. May he strengthen your hearts so that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father when our Lord Jesus comes with all his holy ones. And this is the word of the Lord. It really is quite extraordinary what lengths people will go to when they believe in something with their whole heart. I saw a little video the other day of someone jumping into a running river to rescue a sheep that had been chased there by an unruly dog. The sheep would have drowned if it wasn't for the man who literally risked his life to save it. It got out without, with only a wetting, but the result could have been fatal. The thing is, the sheep didn't belong to the man, nor did the dog. He saw the problem and grasped it with both hands and solved it. I bet when he got home, his wife was furious with him for risking his life for an animal, but I also think he might have been, she might have been secretly very proud of him. Paul in this letter gives an insight into his dedication to the people that he meets his dedication to spreading the good news about Jesus and how the kingdom of God was so much nearer than before because of Jesus. Paul is worried that the people who have given their lives to Jesus would be deflected by outside influences and would be shaken to the core, just like that poor sheep when the dog chased it. Paul is worried that other preachers would come along and tell them lies about what God wanted for, from his people. You see, what God wants primarily from all his people is that he, they love him and love his people. He wants all the earth to know that he, God, loves all his creation and he wants the human part of creation to realise just how much he loves them and is willing to actually die for them. The sheep didn't know that the human coming to haul him out of the water could have died trying. He's only a sheep. How could he know? But we know how Jesus was willing to die for us and loves us as only a great God can love us. 
Paul is willing to face confrontation in Philippi, in Athens, in many towns and cities around the area. Paul is willing to go to Rome to stand trial before the emperor. Paul is willing to give up all possibility of a normal life with family and job so that he can speak to everyone he meets about his faith in Jesus. When you have faith that strong, you'll go to the ends of the earth to spread the gospel. And it is astonishing that so many have done just that over the centuries. It makes me wonder if I would leave everything and walk from city to city, just as Paul did. I wonder if I would have continued to the end, going through all that he went through, beatings, imprisonment, shipwreck, and the rest. A very courageous man, but then he had a very co courageous master, Jesus himself. I have spotted a rather meaningful prayer that I would like to share with you. Keep us, O Lord, while we tarry on this earth in a serious seeking after you and in an affectionate walking with you every day of our lives. That when we come, we may be found not hiding our talent nor serving the flesh, nor yet asleep with our lamp unfurnished, but waiting and longing for our Lord, our glorious God forever. Amen. I hope all goes well for you the rest of this week, and that you and yours keep well and safe. God bless. See you soon.